Welcome to the Iterated Double Integrals video tutorial. The following examples will show you how to solve Iterated Double Integrals using four of Maple's integration tools. Example 1. Evaluate the following Iterated Double Integral. Let us first solve the example using Maple's Approximate Integration Tutor. Step 1. Load Package Student Multivariate Calculus. We do this by going up here to Tools, Load Package, and selecting Student Multivariate Calculus. Step 2. Enter the integrand. We want to first make sure that we are in math mode by clicking math over here at the top. We can find our integrand over here in the question. So we want to enter y divided by x plus x divided by y. Step 3. Open the context menu. We do this by right clicking. We want to go down to tutors, calculus multivariable, and select approximate integration. This will open up the Approximate Integration Tutor. Notice that over here we have our integrand. Step 4. Adjust bounds on x and y. Looking at the question, we see that we are differentiating with respect to x first and then y. So these must be the bounds on x, and these must be the bounds on y. We enter these bounds over here. x goes from 2 to 6, and y goes from 1 to to 3. Step 5. Click Display. Here is a three-dimensional representation of what our function looks like on the specified bounds. Over here, Maple outputs the exact value of the iterated double integral. And over here is the approximation of the double integral, which is the volume of all of these rectangular prisms. If we go over to Partition and we increase these numbers, it increases the number of rectangular prisms and gives us a closer approximation. Let us try changing both of these numbers to 12. Click Display. Notice that the approximate value is now much closer to the actual value. To see an animation of this, click Animate down here, and you can see the number of rectangular prisms increase. Now click Close, and the visual representation will appear in your worksheet. This concludes method one for example one. Now let us do example one again using first principles. Example one, evaluate the following iterated double integral. Step one, enter the integrand. First we want to make sure that we are in math mode and notice that we can find our integrand over here in the question. So we want to enter y divided by x plus x divided by y. Step 2, open the context menu. We do this by right clicking, and then we want to go down to constructions, definite integral, and choose x. Notice from our question that we're integrating with respect to x first and then y. So these must be our bounds on x, and these must be our bounds on y. Entering our bounds on x now, we have the lower bound is 2 and the upper bound is 6. Click OK. Step 3. Open the context menu, go down to Constructions, Definite Integral, and choose Y. Our lower bound on Y is 1, and our upper bound is 3. Click OK. Notice that the double integral we have here is the exact same as the one in our question. Step 4. Open the context menu and select Evaluate from Inert. This gives you the exact value of our iterated double integral. Step 5. Open the context menu, select approximate, and then choose 5. This approximates our double integral to 5 digits. This concludes method 2 for example 1. Example 2. Evaluate the following iterated double integral on the region R defined by the bounds x between 0 and 4 and y between 2 and 3. Let us first solve this example using the multiple integration task template. Step 1. Click on Tools, Tasks, and Browse. Step 2. Open the Multivariate Calculus tab, and then the Multiple Integration tab, and click on Cartesian 2D. Step 3. Click Insert Minimal Content at top of pane. You'll find the Insert Minimal Content button over here. This should insert a table into your worksheet. Step 4. Change values in table appropriately. 
Let us first put her in our integrand, which we can find over here in our question. So we want to replace this with 6 times x times y cubed minus 5 times y squared. Press the Enter key. Notice that y is bounded by u of x and v of x, and x is bounded by a and b. Taking our bounds from the question, we can see that u of x equals 2, v of x equals 3, a equals 0, and b equals 4. Notice that I'm pressing the Enter key after entering each of these values so that they appear in blue below. Step 5. Press the Enter key at the commands to execute them with the new values. The first command will create the double integral that we want to evaluate. The second command will give you the evaluated value of the double integral. The third command will give you the steps to evaluate the double integral. This concludes method 1 for example 2. Let us do example 2 again using first principles and the expression palette. Example 2. Evaluate the following iterated double integral on the region R defined by the bounds x between 0 and 4 and y between 2 and 3. Step 1. Choose a definite integral symbol from the palette expression. Palette expression can be found over here on the left hand side and we want to select the definite integral symbol. Step 2. Enter the bounds of x. Notice that the bounds of x and y can be found over here in our question. So we want to replace a with 0, press the tab key to select b, and replace b with 4. Step 3. Select f. Click the definite integral symbol on the palette expression. Press the tab key once more that selects f, and once more we want to go over to the expression palette and click the definite integral symbol. Step 4. Enter the bounds of y. First we want to select A and replace that with 2. Press the tab key and select B and replace that with 3. Step 5. Replace F with the integrand. If we press the tab key once more, this selects F and notice that our integrand can be found over here in the question. So we want to replace F with 6 times X times Y cubed minus 5 times Y squared. Step 6. Change the first dx to dy and leave the outer dx unchanged. So you want to replace this x with y. Step 7. Press Enter key. Step 8. Open the context menu, which we do by right-clicking, go down to approximate, and choose 5. So over here we have the exact value of our double integral, and here we have an approximation to 5 digits. This concludes method 2 for example 2. Thank you for watching the iterated double integrals video tutorial.